This Western Red Cedar deck storage box was built in a day, not only to provide convenient storage, but to double as an extra seat. Cedar's natural preservatives make it perfect for outdoor projects that must stand up to weather year after year. In another segment, we built the top. Now we'll build the box. The storage box is made up of one 8-foot 4x4, milled down to 2 and 3 quarter inches. Each post has 5 8 inch dados cut into both sides to receive the side rails and the tongue and groove slats. The 3 quarter inch slats are held in place by these dados. The rails are made of four 8-foot 2x4s. Each rail has 3 quarter inch tongues cut into the ends to insert into the posts. The sides are made up from 8-foot lengths of tongue and groove board, cut down to 16-inch sections. Likewise, each rail, top and bottom, forming the sides, has a 5 8 inch dado cut into the rail to hold the tongue and groove panels. The 3 quarter inch tongue and groove panels simply rest in the slots and are neither glued nor nailed. Let's look at some details. Start by cutting a 3 quarter inch tongue into each end of the 8 rails. The dados are cut with stacked dado blades, which are installed in the table saw. The slots for the 3 quarter inch tongues on the end of the rails, as well as for the tongue and groove slats, are cut with a 5 8 inch set of stacked dado blades. Next, cut a slot for the two sides of each of the four posts, as well as along one side of each of the rails. Dry fit the box together and, using a countersinking drill bit, drill two pilot holes for each side rail and set the screws into each post at a 45 degree angle. Do the same for all four corners, upper and lower, until all four posts are attached. The bottom of the box rests on three quarter inch square cleats, nailed one and a quarter inches up from the bottom of the rail. Cut sections of 3 quarter inch square cleats to the inside length and width of the four rails. Fasten the cleats with stainless steel brads set about 6 inches apart. The bottom is made up of two 1 by 6 inch boards. Spread a thin bead of wood glue along the edge. Smooth it in place and clamp the wood until it dries. When the glue is dry, scrape off the excess and then measure and cut the boards to fit the inside dimensions of the bottom. The corners are cut off to allow room for the legs and to provide for the free circulation of air. The bottom drops into place on the top of the cleats. One last step. Cut eight lengths of three quarter inch square cleat material and install the slots under the rails at the bottom of the legs. This will further strengthen the storage deck particularly when it doubles as another seat on your deck. And now the project is complete. Because there are natural oils in western red cedar, you don't need to apply any sealers or paints. Over time, the cedar will naturally mellow to an attractive silver gray.